Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for joining today. We have a lot to do today on episode 14 of Railroader. As you heard me talk about in episode 13, we received a second interchange train because our railroad is so busy. And if you want to ever see if that will happen for you, you go to your company menu, go to locations, you go to your interchange, and it will tell you when the next service is. So for me, I'm not getting another one until 6 a.m. tomorrow, which is great. I could pull in an extra service uh, that would come in at 6 p.m. if I wanted to. What I'm not sure of is if that would uh, just make all new way bills or if it would, um, you know, basically run this train early. I'm not sure. Uh, I might try that sometime. I'm not going to try that today, but I might try it sometime in the future. But uh, we need to get things moving, so I've decided I'm going to let the Whittier switcher deal with all the Whittier sawmill cars, let it deal with the Ella cars. The cars for Whittier in general. Uh, all these cars are actually staying on the interchange. And then uh, my my way freight that normally runs all the way across the uh, the route that I have currently, we're going to let him go ahead and go to Bryson and then head on up to Robinson Gap and swap out the coal mine. So uh, let's go ahead and get him moving. And then we need to head over to um, Bryson and get our passenger train uh, serviced. Our, our lovely passenger train needs some uh, needs some cold water. So, all right, he should be good to go. Let's make sure all the switches are lined. If he's lined through here, then he's good. We can actually line that one straight now. Oh, there's a fusee there. Let's get that out of the way. Don't need that anymore. Uh, let's see. I am running the passenger train with AI, which I love in this game. All right, I think the freight train is good to go. Let's go make sure he's actually moving. Awesome, look at that. Love it. Alright, yeah, let's go work the passenger train and then we're going to come back and start working on this guy and kind of try to get him done while the other one's running. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of switching to do here. We are done with the logs, which is nice. Logs are all good. Uh, we have made our, our two runs for the day, so everything is set up there. We're grateful for that. It's been a good run. I did some testing today uh, for a couple of things. I tested the C46 consolidation and the C55 uh, consolidation to see what kind of tonnage they can pull up the hill to Alarca. And if you include their weight, so more or less, you know, whatever the weight the game will show you down here, um, I did actually find some really good information uh, from my tests. So what I found was, let's get this guy moving real quick. Oof, yeah, look at that, wow. Uh, I did find that the, C, the C46 consolidation can carry 1,700 tons. That's including its own weight up to Alarca, which is around 2% at its maximum grade. And that is at 10 miles an hour or more. So that was a condition is I wanted to see how much it could pull and still keep a speed of uh, more than 10. Now the C55, which only has about 20% more tractive effort, actually pulls 40% more tonnage. It pulls about 2,300 tons up the hill. Once again, that's including its own weight. Uh, very impressive. So uh, definitely excited to see that. Plus, on top of that, the test I was doing was involving a really long empty train. So it had a lot more axles, a lot more friction around the big hairpin curve. And so, quite honestly, chances are if you have a shorter train that's heavier and uh, less axles, which means less surfaces of friction with the rails, you'll probably get even better performance than that. It, it, it wouldn't be much, but it would be some. But uh, still, very excited about that. That was a fun test to do. I also uh, tried out the uh, SW1 as maybe uh, using that as my uh, Whittier switcher to do some log runs. And I decided I, I really like the SW1, actually. <laughs> In fact, I might uh, I might send my current uh, Whittier switcher over here to Bryson, since Bryson doesn't have anywhere near as much to do. And since East Whittier has a spot there to uh, refill uh, diesel, um, that would mean, well, Bryson does too, technically, but that would mean that I would have to also buy a tank car and start paying for diesel fuel. So we'll see. I'm still deciding what I want to do there, but I will say I really liked it. It was fantastic. Uh, I definitely at some point will probably be getting an SW1 one way or another. 
All right, I forget how much coal this thing takes. I think it's around four or five, maybe. Um, can't really remember. Uh, it's not doing too bad on water, but we're going to go ahead and top it off anyway, and then we will let him head on his way up to Alarka. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, we've got one active way bill. All right, cool. Standard oil. Sweet. Uh, looks like everybody wants to go east, not west, but that's okay. We've still got a few pastures that want to go uh, west. We'll take them up there and come back. No biggie. All right, we're done with the coal. Let's get him moved up here to the water. I do love this 10-wheeler. He's going to stay with us for now. That literally might be perfect. Look at that. Good luck doing better, guys. Take the challenge. Challenge accepted. <laughs> but yeah, this 10-wheeler is great. I forget what, which one is this. This is the second one. Uh, yeah, the T21. Love this guy. I mean, obviously, I'll definitely replace him with the, the P43 eventually, you know, when the passenger train gets up to, like, 10 cars or something. But we are not there yet. All right, let's get him coupled back to the passenger train and get the passenger train out of Bryson. Uh, let's see. Yep, Hemingway and Alarka. Oh, this is cool. It shows... Uh, in the car, it shows how many people are going to which station. That's cool. I've never looked at that because I just never needed to, but cool to know. I'll be honest. Technically, I should take these fusees out, but... I like to keep them there for when I run the AI train so it'll actually stop. Speaking of, I need to throw the switch behind me on the uh, east end of Bryson here. Well, Railroad East. It might geograph geographically, it possibly might be west. I don't think so, but. Ah, that didn't work. Alright, get that air brake done, turned off. Um, let's take the switcher into track three, actually. Um, yeah, because I want to drop those. I want to drop those. Um, what should we call it? Drop those Appalachian hardwood cars off and get them on the way back. All right, let's move out, guys. Let's move out. Got it all topped off. It's ready to go. because I didn't clear my fusey. thought I did. guess I did. Alright, there he goes. Perfect. Uh, let's get a fusey on the other side of Alarka just in case. I can't remember if when they reach the last station if the pasture train just stops. I can't remember and I don't want it to go past Alarka. Okay, it's got one. Good. Yes, yeah, so we'll just let it just stop there. I just can't remember and I don't want to find myself uh, chasing a train down to the end of the line over by uh, past Brooks. <laughs> no thanks. All right, let's check in on the way freight, see how he's doing. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Fantastic. All right, let's go get some switching done. Over here to East Whittier. Um, let's see. How do I want to do this? Let's at least take it forward. That's a no-brainer. Uh, good on resources for the locomotive for now. Uh, let's see here. Locations, the sawmill. Yeah, it just takes 15 cars a day. It's currently got almost 15 cars. Well, I guess 12 almost 13 card loads worth of, of, of logs. So yeah, we're definitely good on logs today. I could do another run. I th there's definitely capacity up at Connolly Creek for it. That's four cars worth. That's four cars worth. Yeah, that'd let me get both. 
technically. We'll see. If we get in a situation where we have to wait for the wave rate to come back, we just might do that. Uh-oh. Switcher number two. Last passenger train. Stopped. Alright, let's go help him out. As soon as we get this guy stopped, we'll go help out the passenger train. It's a bit important, you know? Um, where's he at? There he is. Ah, I know what switch that is. I didn't even think to check, my bad. That's okay. Make sure these are good. They are not. Look at that. Okay. Now they're good. All right, that was important. Very, very important. We were about to send that guy down to Fontana Lake. All right, let's take it back. So I gotta figure out what I wanna do back here. Thinking. Need to get those sawmill cars. I do have enough space to run a fly switch, technically. Probably what I'll do. get past me right there and I can get these guys I'll have to do another fly but you know I can do it it's not a big deal just because the interchange yard is too full it's because this this track right there now, the other thing I could do is just pull that track um, for now let's go ahead and fly these guys let's get them out of the way and then from from there we can we decide what we want to do there. Get it down to fifteen on the curve there. Switch thrown and brakes. All right. Executed to perfection. I think I've done that too many times. Nice and easy. All right, yeah, so we gotta think here. We gotta strategize a bit. What do I wanna do here? Um, those Ella cars are kinda in the way. If I took all the sawmill cars, I could do one move on the fly with them. Wouldn't be bad actually. And then I could come back and get my Ella and my stencil cars. And then, yeah, that'd be it. Okay, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. That'll work out just fine. Alright, so let's go get. Let's go get some woodier sawmill cars. How about it? Time to get paid! Oh, Clinchfield car. Nice. Okay, so yeah, there's a, there's a lot of a lot of breaks here. That guy released. Uh, the next to last one, he's got a break. Get him released. Got a lot of disconnected lines. I mean, not really a big deal. It's not like I'm going to use my train break. <laughs> it's because we had to do some switching earlier with this. All right. Go ahead and get that out of there now. I think it was four cars here. No, five. All the way through the flat. Okay, that's easy. Wow, yeah, ten cars. Oh, that's right, because we got the salt, the hell of cars with us. I uh, don't want to take those guys. There we go. So I guess it's nine cars. Yeah, that sounds more like it. Nice thing about nine cars to the sawmill, that is a very quick turnaround. Uh, you know, you deliver them, you get paid a bonus. You, uh, you ship them to the interchange, you don't get paid a bonus, but you still get a fee for the car. Nine cars twice a day, not counting the bonus, that's 
150 bucks almost a car. Anywhere from 120 to 150 a car. So just take the average 135 times times nine. That's it's over a thousand dollars every day. That's just these. It's not even the logs, which is like another 2,500. <laughs> All right, we only want uh, to that flat car. Do I want to leave some space here? Yeah, we'll just cut it right here. Uh, let's set a handbrake, though. Clearly, that shows us we need a handbrake. Ah, Pensy car. Yes, sir. I probably said that the first time I saw it in the other episode. <laughs> I think it was this guy. No, this one. All right. And then we got an empty line there. That's fine, technically. That is not a problem, but let's get moving. We're gonna get it up to 10, we're gonna cut loose, get ahead of it. And get back across the switch in time. I bet we can make it. Number one's just about to get to Bryson, that's good. Get him switched up. And on his way to Alarka, although actually we'll have to have him stop in Hemingway because the passion train will be up there. That's alright. That'll be fine. Alright. Executed to perfection. That's how we move the cars on the SAE. Yes, sir. All right, temporarily, yeah, see, he blew the fusey. Ah, uh, because I didn't throw the switch. Yep, and I sent him down the main track. So let's send him back at 10. Um, do I got a crossover I can use? No, I don't. Okay, well then, you know what? We're just gonna hold him because he's right here at the switch. Just go manual and just sit there. We'll come back and fix you in just a second because I've got some cars over here that are about to run away. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what would be really funny right now <laughs> is if these cars stopped, stopped rolling. That would be a disaster, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing I didn't think about and I probably should have maybe I should have done you know 12 or 13 miles an hour but it made it it made it and that's that's all that mattered I do love this uh, this new interchange con interchange concept where if your railroad does enough business every day, you get a second round of cars. I just love it. It's fantastic. I am going to run out of time and get it's going to get dark on me before the day's over though. Probably not a fan of that. But my last video I talked about how it's kind of hard for me to see at night. We will see what happens. All right, let's get. Um, those cut right there. Let's pause. Let's go fix this guy because I need him to keep moving. Um, especially since he's actually been moving pretty well, if I may be honest. So what we'll do is we'll just actually um, get these guys clear of the coal hoppers. Leave the coal hoppers right there. And then we're just going to shove these guys, these boxcars back. Break. 
can't break the disconnect. Go put them in the yard. Make sure the switches are lined. Okay, you got it lined onto that track. Right through there. Okay, perfect. If we launch it at 20, they'll make it just fine. Ooh, that was really fast, sorry. speed here is 30 so we're good and I'll of course go babysit them all right hit the target let's back up I did also do some looking into uh, kind of the Silva expansion when I was messing around in sandbox to kind of see what to expect with the contracts at the paper board there in Silva because that's the the big industry that I'm excited about, you know, working with. Um, it appears that at its max contract tier, it requires 10 carloads of um, a pulp a day. So the one in, I found out that the one in Andrews takes 28, sheesh, at its max contract tier. But with just 10 cars, uh, that can all be satisfied almost anywhere on the map, you know. Uh, what's this place over here? I want to say Walter, but that's not it. Walker. Okay, that's close. So obviously Walker can do it. Conley Creek can do it. So I found out that you can comfortably put 20 pulpwood cars in Conley Creek on one trip. So I think in the future, uh, just because of how I've designed my operations, I think we'll definitely look to that each day. And then uh, we'll probably pull, once we get Andrews, which is a long time from now, you know, we'll pull 10 out of Walker, and then we'll probably pull 4 in Hemingway and 4 over in uh, by Dillsboro. So, uh, those little small spurs. I did notice there's also an entire short line or something, I guess, you can interchange with uh, that does pulpwood, so that looked interesting. Uh, I'm not sure. It almost looked like you have to pay for that, which is uh, completely understandable. Uh, but it also looked like it could be a possibility that you ship loads there. But I got the impression that that was for loading pulpwood cars. So I guess we shall find out. Uh, what's going on here, man? Why are you still sitting in Hemingway? Are you guys not marked for it, Larka? Yeah, you are. Okay, so that that seems like a, a bit of a a bit of a glitch there, sort of. Logic didn't quite work out on that one. Let's go ahead and get it past him away, and then he can uh, he can get himself rolling. All right, we're gonna stop the freight train there. So let's throw that switch. some time. So with our time that we have, let's go ahead and get the sawmill switching. I do think you can fit uh, five cards with the switcher here. I do believe so. I think it gets kind of close, but... Oh, actually, no, it doesn't really. Oh, no, it's a piece of cake. There's lots of space here. Holy cow. space for another two cars. At least, you know, 40 foot cars. Alright. Uh, I did not get it. Yeah, I threw the switch. I was worried that I didn't. And as always, my traditional move here, we will kick these cars. It's just the only way to do railroad, guys. That 
that was not what I meant to do. Just my computer lagging there a bit. that I've done this a few times, my friends. Look at that. Nice little 6% bonus because we're only at tier 3. Perfect. Alright, let's bring it back. Such a soft whistle. Haha, <laughs> that thing is so soft. It's fine though because the locomotive is soft. It's delicate. That's our baby right there. Yeah, as soon as we're done here, we'll go grab our cars for Whittier and Ella, and then we will go and fill this guy up right here before we head out of town. Can't be leaving him out on the main without fuel and water. Alright, let's do it. I've always been curious what that truck was for, but I know that in the game there's nothing that it does but always been curious all right looks like our passenger train made it to a larka junction hopefully the people actually get out of the train and get us some money Stop those cars. Perfect. There we go. Love it. Like Mr. Crafts or SpongeBob. Money, 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 money. <laughs> there it is. Yep. Okay, it did make the stop. Perfect. 78 people went to Alarca. Holy cow. That actually was a lot more than I expected. Alright, let's go ahead and fill this guy up while he's here. And then we're just taking those two cuts of cars right there. We'll put the stencil cars in the back. That way we can switch them out as we as we go. We'll probably be coming back from Ella Light. We'll see. Oh, I like how the smoke gets caught in the light there. See that? That's cool. That's a cool feature. Very, very cool feature. Oh, a little early. Alright, let's go babysit our passenger train because he needs to start heading back to Hemingway. Uh, just hold tight for a bit. How many passengers are we rocking over here? 38. Not bad. Uh, there are some guys that are ready to go. Mostly Bryson, let's do it. Uh, passenger, Whittier, Ella, Bryson, Hemingway, and copy the couple. Perfect. And we're just going to run this guy backwards, but that'll do the job. Alright, man. Let's get moving. Let's do it. Orders, road, reverse, take it. Switches should all be lined through Bryson. Should be. Okay, let's check on these. So, I don't think all of these are ready. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. It's okay if we leave them. It's really not a big deal. We can always pick them up tomorrow. But I do know that we have some loaded cars over at Robinson Gap that got to be picked up. So, here's kind of the plan when the... Uh, Passenger train gets by Hemingway, we'll bring the freight up here to Alarca. And he can run actually all the way right up to Robinson Gap, drop those coal cars off, pick up the loaded ones, and then he'll make his way back to Bryson, do some switching, and then uh, work his way back to the interchange in Whittier. That is the plan. So I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be exactly what we want it to be. 
But I do think that I'm going to get all that off of the. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do all that off, off camera. Sorry, I was a little confused about what happened here. <laughs> I guess I just didn't set the brakes. There we go. I probably didn't. Honestly. All right. Well, I've had a good time today. Thank you guys for joining. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being the best part of the channel. I appreciate you guys viewing, and commenting, liking the video. Stay tuned for more. I. Uh, have some time now finally I'm kinda of waiting on one of my uh, projects for grads to get graded so I'm kind of just waiting around this weekend so I might shoot some more videos we'll see but uh, thank you all for joining and uh, as always I will catch you guys out there next time we'll see you later mm -hmm.